Hi folks, my name is Jordan Simpson and I work for Pacific Angler, 78 East Broadway in Vancouver, British Columbia. Today's video, we're going to be talking about making simple brine solutions for prepping herring and anchovies for Pacific salmon. These small Coleman coolers are the perfect thing to stow away under boat seats as well as not take up a lot of space on your boat deck. For salt and water ratios, I like using enough salt until it won't get absorbed anymore into the water, but I don't like to leave too much excess as I don't want to scrape off scales. Depending on how many anchovies or herring I plan on brining, I will salt accordingly. I am fairly liberal with it though. About half a bag of our guide's choice brining salt is more than enough for two to three trays of anchovies. I've already got some anchovies pre-brined throughout the day. Most of us will start brining our anchovies or herring the night before, although it isn't bad to start them the morning of before you head out to the grounds. Taking a look at the anchovies I've been brining all day, you can see that their skin is tough and leathery. This also helps hold hooks as well as improve durability so you're not having to change out baits as often. Salt also helps add shine as well as toughen the scales so they don't come foiling off in the water. There are additives you can use to improve your bait shine as well as to introduce color depending on the water clarity. One item we like to use is Procure's Bait Bright. This won't actually dye your bait, it'll simply just brighten the silver highlights in it. I've got one already pre-done right here. As you can see, the water itself is blue, but the anchovy is a nice bright silver. Chartreuse is also a great color, as well as blue itself. We like to use small Ziploc bags. I don't like to brine all my anchovies one color. I'll usually do most of them natural, maybe with some brightening agent, but I will also add a few into Ziploc with a couple color chartreuse or blue. These have been brining directly in the Procure Brighten Brine. And you can tell it's got a nice bright chartreuse color. That really stands out and gives off nice bright hues in the water. The other color, blue, is right here. As you can see, unlike the, the bait bright, this dye actually dyes the herring blue itself. Sometimes when fishing in a pack of boats, that difference, those colors can be the difference between getting hooked up and not. What makes your anchovy stand out versus all the other ones in a pack? As you can see, my hands do have a little blue and chartreuse on them. The Procure Brown and Bright Complete is a complete brining agent. You can add anchovies directly into it. Um, that gives it a very concentrated chartreuse or blue. If you just want to add some hues, you can just add a few drops to your actual brine mix itself. Again, being careful when mixing this, I always suggest doing this at home on your driveway or in a garage sink. I wouldn't do this on your boat. It is pretty concentrated and, well, you don't want to make a mess. To use this stuff, it's pretty simple. Simply follow the directions right on the bottle if you want a more concentrated dye. And like I said earlier, if you want just a few hues, just add it directly into your brine mix there. For more information on these products used here, or if you have any questions on how to brine, or just general inquiries, feel free to give us a call, 604-872-2204, or come see us in store at 78 East Broadway in Vancouver, British Columbia.